Hi, good night everyone. So yesterday I posted a video uh, concerning why my generation age so gracefully. And someone saw my video and they messaged me on Instagram asking me what do I mean by we used to get sleep. Apparently this person has um, issues sleeping. So um, for educational purposes. So back in my day, we, as I said, didn't have cell phone, we had normal TV, we didn't really even have a laptop, we had a laptop, it was like those big old monitors that we had, and um, again, we never really had much screen time. Younger uh, people in our day, we used to go outside and play. Yes, you could call it poor, you could make fun of it, cricket bicycle all these things and because we were so active we were tired because imagine when it says you go to school you wake up early first of all to go to school you go to school you spend all these hours so you come home you do your homework and you go and you play you get some screen time on the tv right so so back in the day we used to get like cartoons from four to probably half five six o'clock actually so what like two hours of cartoon and you go and you play you come home you take a shower eat to go and sleep actually it's, it's, it's like that wasn't actual um the way it happened but that is what the day included so when we sleep we were already tired and I don't know how much of you all actually um, do research on your screen time, but because of the light, um, they, they even tell you, if you need to go to the washroom, try to install a red light because a red light is very, very dull. And the light from normal lights, like normal LED lights, will basically stimulate the brain to basically wake it up. So when you are watching a screen, TV or whatever, your brain is active. These waves are going in and you're not sleepy. So that is why you will hear some people tell you, okay, if you're going to bed, come off your phone for at least an hour before you go to bed. And that, and this is why, right? And a lot of people will turn into medication, so they will take some things like melatonin, which is pretty all right because your body produces it but you get dependent on it a lot of people will come and say oh use ashwagandha ashwagandha has really bad withdrawal side effects you could even use magnesium but you need to do your research as to which magnesium um goes well with you for me um i use the magnesium citrate because i have no magnesium right i have um what else boy go to the beach go to the beach and take a dip you know when you go to the beach and you come home it's like you're tired and you can sleep peacefully yes and then give yourself if you're not working shift give yourself a time that you're going to go to bed so every day your body is basically you're programming yourself okay if I'm going to bed 10 o'clock once 10 o'clock reach, even if you don't have work, you go to bed. Because you don't realize if every day you're getting up, let's say, 4 o'clock to go to work. Even when you are home on a weekend, you will get up 4 o'clock because your body is programmed that way. So you could literally program yourself without needing this medication to sleep. And you see the amount of caffeine and juices and processed sugars and all these things. Stop it. You know, a lot of people will have this illusion that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. It is not. Let me base that bubble for you. It is not. Actually, if you do intermittent fasting, I try to do this, or at least fast one day of the week. And when I mean fast one day, I don't mean like just cut off all food and stuff, especially if you have stomach problems and you get headaches or if you're working, especially if you're out in any hot sun. But basically, like, try and stay on probably fruits or just do 
all meat because I can't even diet is way more healthier than fruits and vegetables and I am sorry for you vegan people but that is the truth I, do, I don't care if you hate me I don't care you all want to protect the animals but you all eat the animals food I, I don't understand that logic anyway so yes try and, and, and do a fast cleanse your body cleanse yourself or do an intermittent fasting you skip breakfast you eat lunch you have what you call supper between four five and six let your last meal be by half six let it digest if you are hungry have a cup of green tea not black tea go to bed go to bed your body feels better it's, it's giving your body less weight because when you eat all this junk you give your stomach all this extra weight and when you give it away you're tired you're tired you know and and that's it so i hope my little video helped some people right stay away from the sugar alcohol is sugar fried food oh my god it gives it gives your stomach a lot of work especially those ramen those kind of stuff like even though how much i will say you can't even die to something i prefer you eat a fruit or something than have those processed foods and that is the truth the only chocolates i eat right now is the ocho chocolate because it's more organic right if i have to have a chocolate tea i would buy the richmond brand or those cocoa um thing where you could create or just green tea especially if you could get the chamomile tea that relaxes you and it helps you sleep without needing medication right and that is what i mean that we used to sleep that is why we learn you know these days people i mean i'm sorry for the younger generation but they're just like instant 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 they're, they're most of them are lazy most of them get swayed by the media they don't do research it does run with what you say and they go and especially as i said this woke culture oh my god back then man if you used to discipline children like this when they have nothing like a woke a woke culture seriously but anyway i hope um my advice helps and also please try to avoid the acidic stuff so even though i say you know have a fruit what i'm what i'm talking about like before you go to bed something that is very alkaline and not acidic right so do your research and like mangoes you could actually have mangoes mangoes actually help you sleep yeah um what else boy well you could have cucumbers yeah cucumbers is, is, is fine yeah, but but do your do your research and you'll realize there's like stuff like even olives olives are healthy i love olives oh my god i love olives <laughs> i was so done i eat olives just so you know because it's healthy avocado healthy fats these things you know so again that is just my advice i hope it helps again do your research do not just take what i say and just run with it do your research everybody body is different they will react differently so you need to figure out okay what is for you and what's not for you it's always going to be trial and error so anyway i hope you all have a good night and um happy good friday